All right, so we'll pull microwave, diffuse, it keep blowing. Stick around, watch this video. I'll show you what is the problem and how to fix it. All right, so the whirlpool my crave, right? The fuse keep blowing. Uh, the cause of that is that the capacitor, right? So I ran some tests earlier on the capacitor. The capacitor need to be changed. Capacitor, it's spoiled. All right, so if I plug it on, you will see there's no power. If you check for continuity on the fuse, You wouldn't get up to me. Right, so the fuse, the fuse gone. So you wouldn't get nothing, right? There's no reading. So I'll take out this fuse. And I'll put on another fuse and I will show you I will show you why the fuse I'll show you how the fuse keep blowing. Right, so this is another, this is another fuse here. I'll plug it on. Right, so it on. Now you have to be careful, you don't want to touch this capacitor, right? You don't want to touch nothing inside here. So be careful how you're dealing with this. This is live current. So we'll focus on the fuse. Right? We will focus on the fuse and you see the fuse are blue, right? Right, so I'll run for 12 seconds. And you see the fuse will blow before it reaches two seconds. Alright. So you see it. And there's no power again. Right, so one of the reasons why the fuse keep blowing is because of the capacitor. Right, so I'll unplug this. Remove the fuse. Uh, remove the wires from the capacitor. Now you have to be careful how you're doing this because you don't want to touch none of those things here. You don't touch none of them wires because you can get shock. Alright, so you have to be careful. Right, so you move all the wires and then there's a screw behind here that holds the um, capacitor, you need to remove that. Now, when you remove any capacitor, you have to be careful in not touching any of them terminals, right? so you take a bit big pliers. That well insulated and you just clamp it on and bring it out right all 
right? So this is the bad one. And the UF in this is 8, 0.80 UF. Right, I don't know if you can see it. Right? Put this aside. And this is the replacement one. This is I've seen that girl. This is 85. Right, it's 85. So it doesn't matter if it's 5 higher, 5% 5 higher, or 5% lower. It doesn't matter. It will still work. Now, if I mark this together, right, let's screw it up. Right. Now, when I'm plugging wires together, right, on a diode, you're making sure everything is connected the same way it come out in that same order, right? So this wire diode was first. Right. So the diode was diode was first, and then this one second. And then this one to on the other side. Well, first on the other side, and then second. Right, so everything jacking and secure. Right, so the next step now is to put in a fuse. Right, so this is fuse. And now to plug it on. Now I will run this for 12 seconds. You're not supposed to run this for more than 12 seconds when it's empty. If it's empty and run this for more than 12 seconds, it can probably burn the inside. The doors could burn. It can act. Right, so right now it's empty, so I'll run it for 12 seconds. Alright. Alright, so we're done here. Unplug it. And it's hot. Alright, so it's working. So, the reason why the fuse keep blowing is because of the capacitor. Right, sometimes when the fuse blow, it could be the capacitor, it could be the, tran it could be the transformer, it could be the uh, magnetron, it could be the switches, it could be the circuit board. But in this case, it's the capacitor, right? Sometimes when a fuse blow in a microwave, it could be high voltage, low voltage. It don't, it don't have to be the capacitor or, or the magnetron or transformer. It could just be high voltage or low voltage, right? But in this case, it's not a high voltage or low voltage. In this case, it's the capacitor gone, right? So thanks for watching all my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. Until next time, Mr. Fixit360 saying good luck with all your peers.